It's just you find comfort in the in the music. You find comfort in the sound. It's not necessarily that it makes you more sad. It's not necessarily that it makes you more upset. It's just that because you're upset, you find comfort in that music. And it doesn't make you sad. It just makes you content. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another reaction video. It's early in the morning right now, so my energy it's it's not there. You know, my energy's not where it usually is. It's a bit more mellow, it's a bit more subtle. Um, anyways, we are reacting to G Dragon. Uh what's the name of this? <laughs> okay, so the name of this song is Untitled 20. 14 right uh, this came from a patreon his name is garbage platform Yo, garbage has been supporting us for a very long time garbage is a day one and i have nothing but kind words towards garbage you know i appreciate you for always showing that love always showing that support and joining me on my journey through k-pop you're, you're literally the the best bro <laughs> like, i appreciate you everybody say thank you to garbage for requesting a g dragon song because i know a lot of you guys have wanted g dragon but i just haven't got the chance got the time to get around to him but since garbage is a patreon patreon's reactions get bumped up the list and they get reacted to no matter what uh, it doesn't mean that i didn't want to react to g dragon it kind of just meant that i didn't have the time i didn't have the space and i didn't have the presence to dedicate the time to react to it you know what i mean if you do want to be able to request things and make sure they get requested no matter what you can become a patreon lowest tier is two dollars uh, then we have ten dollar the twenty dollar and so on and so on tier you guys can go check that out link is in the description so go check that out um, anyways g dragon untitled 2014 the english sub version because the main channel does not have the subtitles let's go linton wilson presents to you another banger So this is G-Dragon, okay. I just wanna... He has such a subtle and really majestic voice. Like, it's, it's really majestic. He's straight singing from his throat. Wow. D Dragon has a very, very unique voice. It's very stylized. It's not something you would hear every single day. Um, it's not like, say, Shawn Mendes. It's not like Justin Bieber. It's a really stylized voice in the sense where he, he really utilizes the high pitchness of his voice, and you can hear it when he sings. <laughs> Okay, so I'm guessing he's talking about, you know, not being in that relationship anymore. Or like he regrets doing something and now he's no longer in that relationship. He's saying, I wish even in my dreams I would be able to meet you. So either he fucked up or something happened between both of them where they're not seeing each other anymore. I love this. Uh, oh my god one thing i really want to point out is the utilization of cinematics in the camera um this background is very beautiful i don't know if that's a green screen yg's on g dragon is no this wasn't from original this wasn't from the yg or the big bang channel Big Bang is part of YG, right? YG doesn't like green screens. So is this actual clouds? There's a song I grew up on, and it's called, I don't know if you guys know who Neo is, um, Western artist, and the song's name is So Sick of Love Songs, you know what I mean? Like, 
I'm so sick of love songs. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. And I literally grew up on that song. You know, every single day, I was a very sad kid growing up. Not, not for the vast majority of my childhood, just for like a little, a small part. <laughs> a small part of my childhood, I was just really sad all the time. And Neo So Sick was my go-to song. It's just you find comfort in the, in the music. You find comfort in the sound. It's not necessarily that it makes you more sad. It's not necessarily that it makes you more upset. It's just that because you're upset, you find comfort in that music. And it doesn't make you sad. It just makes you content. And I feel like this is one of those songs where it just really captures you and it just really allows you to become peace or find peace within whatever mindset you have right now. This is just one of those songs. <laughs> this piano in the background is so nice. You see what you see what G Dragon is doing here? You don't see it utilized as much nowadays. Where you're literally just in focus in the camera for the entirety of the music videos. You don't see a lot of people doing this anymore. This already is something that really makes G-Dragon unique. Like you don't see the scene switching, it's just him. Ah. I'll always have this very strong appreciation for people who really speak about their craft and really, you know, emit their craft like it's their own life. You know what I mean? And like he's singing and you can hear every feeling, you can hear every emotion. And that's what I really love about music, how capturing it is, how, how you know, um, vibrant, how really out there it is, melodic. Um, I just really love it. And one thing that G-Dragon is strongly reminding me of or Kai is strongly reminding me of G-Dragon is because of this cinematic choice. Kai, Tae Min, they really like being up in the camera's face. And that's what I've noticed since I've been reacting to them for such a long time. Kai, Tae Min, G-Dragon, they like being in the camera's face. And it's, it's a subtle art choice, but it really gets their face out there and allows people to see them for them and not see them for all the scenes, all the different cinematics, all the different transitions within their music video. They just get to see them for who they are. And it's, it's really subtle, but it helps you build a connection with the artists. So good. Untitled 2014. Wow. Um, <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That was G Dragon Untitled 2014. I have a lot of great words for that song, but no words will really encompass the greatness of that song. Um, it was a beautiful song, very majestic, very well done, uh, very well choreographed. Um, in terms of you know artistry, it was a very good song. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do make sure to hit the subscribe button. Do make sure to turn on post notifications. Do make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed. And before that, if you guys haven't picked up any merchandise, do make sure you grab yourself some merchandise from the stores. As you guys know, I'm a graphic designer, I'm a university student, and I'm doing YouTube full time. So anything you guys can do, you know, in terms of supporting me, it helps a lot. And it does go to show your appreciation and it does help me run the channel for a longer period of time. Again, I upload every single day. So if you want to watch some K-pop videos with me, if you want to watch some K-pop reaction videos, do hit that subscribe button and check me out. Anyways, again, big shout out to Garbage. Thank you for recommending this video. You did a great job on 
this one, man. If anything, I'm looking forward to your next reaction. I'm looking forward to your next request because I know they're going to be bangers. This is great. And this really set my day up for a great time. It's really set the flow of my day. You know what I mean? I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> Take it easy. Stay up to date with Linton's latest content by subscribing and turning on post notifications.